Hi Libra, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your May 2022 weekly reading. And I'm in the middle of pulling your oracle cards and then I'll pull your tarot. Spirit, what will help the Libra? What will validate this reading? Thank you. All right, I will bring up the oracle cards as and when they make sense, Libra. Um, let's see now. Uh, Spirit, may I have the present position for Libra, please? No, thank you. Let me shuffle one more time. I did shuffle off of camera, um, Libra, but I need to shuffle again. Can I have the present position for Libra, please? Thank you. Okay, thank you. We have the Two of Swords in the upright, can, uh, clarified by the Page of Cups. Wow, all of that? Okay, thank you. Okay. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse, the Magician, and the Six of Wands. Need to move this up so you guys can see it. I know you can't see the detail. I will bring the cards forward as and when I am reading them. Can I have the strength for Libra, please? Can I have the strength, please? For those of you that have uh, subscribed, shared videos, liked my videos, follow me, leave comments. Thank you so much. It does help the channel um, to get viewership and get seen on YouTube. There's about 600,000 videos being released. I believe every hour is the last numbers that YouTube put out to content creators like myself. So the only way that my videos are seen are by yourself, by subscribers. And I want to thank all the subscribers and the faithful watchers and welcome the new watchers to my channel. Spirit, may I have the challenge for Libra this week? Thank you. I've got the four of cups. Thank you. Now the energy is bouncing better. Thank you. Okay. And can I have the outcome? Thank you. Which way? Upright. Thank you. Three of Wands. What's good in the outcome for Libra? What's good? What do they need to know? What will help them, motivate them, inspire them, and give them hope? Nine of Swords in the reverse. Thank you. You want those two? Or whatever that was thank you all right and you want them all in the upright thank you okay okay for those of you that have never seen me before I am a psychic and a medium so my readings are a little bit different than the other tarot readers I'm not a book learned tarot reader I get my information psychically and from the spirit world therefore this row right here the present position has got to make sense to you in the reading if it doesn't make sense to you then this is not your reading um, also what may be happening is you're watching the reading too early so in order for you to validate that this is your reading, you might want to come at the come to this reading at the very end of the month or the next month. Now, just to put this in context, whenever I'm doing my own readings, meaning readings for uh, my own zodiac sign, it never ever makes sense to me. And I actually always feel like I'm giving a wrong reading or an incorrect reading. And then I'll watch the reading actually um, a couple of months later and it's spot on. So. And that's for my own zodiac sign. So um, just to put it into context, if the present position doesn't make sense, because time is fluid, I'm a psychic and a medium, even though the spirit world are working to give you the reading on a weekly basis, it doesn't necessarily come out that way. 
What I have for you in the present position is your is the two of swords, um, which is clarified right here with the page of cups. Now this is a general reading, so apply this, you know, people, person, place, thing, situation, change it up to how you need it changed uh, to make sense to you. Now in this um, present position, spirit, bring it forward, what's going on here? It feels like you're making a decision about something new that you wanna go into that you find interesting, or you find um, a sense of loyalty is coming out. It is more of a spiritual path that you're taking or a spiritual decision that you're making rather than something that is driven by, I wanna say money. It feels like something is, like you're trying to follow your heart, you're trying to follow what is important to you because I feel that the, um, the decision that you're making in regards to, or I feel like the way spirit is showing it to me is, you know, um, like you're ambitious Libra and it feels like you're always, um, you know, people like you and uh, you're always made, able to make lemonade out of lemons. But I feel here that um, there's some hurt and pain from the past in regards to something that you loved and having to walk away from it. And so as you move forward, it feels like you're moving forward into something new, but you're having to make this decision, which is coming out in the present energy. So that what's, that's what's going on with you right now. Here we have you um, with the Four of Swords. It's a little bit triggering in that it may be bringing up old issues for you, but with the Four of Swords in, in reverse, it feels like you're wanting to put all of the past behind you and really embrace um, a different type of outcome here. In the Magician, and th there we go, right? We have the Magician. So you're absolutely manifesting something that is different than what you've experienced before. And um, I see a lot of energy going into this because we have the Six of Wands. You are wanting complete and utter victory. And what I like about your energy, Libra, what is um, one of the nicest things about your energy is that you are very, um, you are able to give your time and energy to something that you believe is a worthy cause. And it feels like uh, it is very important that you move in this direction. And I love the energy around this. It really feels like you're coming to life. It really feels like you're putting your best foot forward. And it really feels like whatever has been difficult in the past, it feels like you're overcoming it in the present position. Now, remember, for those of you that can't resonate with this present position, things need to play themselves out. And so you may not be feeling this way right now. If that's the case, go ahead and stop the video, put it in a playlist, come back at the end of the month, or at least at the beginning of the month, uh, the beginning of the next month, and look at the reading all the way through, especially if the, the present position makes sense. Now here in the strength position, we have the page of wands. Spirit, bring it forward. What's going on here? And the page of wands in the upright, the three of cups in the upright, the knight of wands in the upright, and the two of wands in the upright. You want me to read it the other way? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so it looks like um, in the strength position, you're, um, you're considering your past, present, and future. You are definitely paying attention to uh, where you've been and where you're going. I feel like you're doing this with a lot of um, uh, present energy. Like I feel like people can, I feel like your voice needs to be heard here in the strength. I feel that you're very passionate about something and you wanna move forward with it in um, in, a re in a very real way. It, it feels like you want ownership of something here. And when I say that, it has to do with kind of leadership as well, those leadership qualities. I feel like whatever this is brings you a lot of fun and enjoyment and brings you around like-minded individuals. Here in the Page of Wands, again, I'm seeing this kind of new beginning in this energy. And so it is something that you're coming towards you that is new and something that um, kind of ignites the passion within you. What's in the challenge position is the Four of Cups and the Four of Coins. 
So you're quite guarded because of past experiences. You're quite guarded because, you know, life has taught you that, you know, when you give your all, there's a, that they could, the bottom could drop out. And so you're very tentative through experience. And, um, you know, it's okay to be tentative. I don't feel like that's a disruptive energy here. In the outcome, I have three of wands, spirit bring it forward. I have the nine of swords, I have the seven of wands, and I have the queen of wands. Here we have a new beginning. I feel like you're walking, I feel like the past um, is, uh, there's some wisdom here that's coming in from the past, but I feel like something gets resurrected from the past. Uh, I'm feeling something to do with your career or reputation or who you are as a person. But again, take it to a uh, fit person, place or thing. Something is going to get resurrected here. Your anxiety is going to diminish completely. And I feel that lots of people are going to... Uh, reputation is coming out extremely strong here in the Seven of Wands. I feel people are rallying for you and um, are gonna make it happen. I feel like people are gonna open doors for you. So here we have the Queen of Wands, you stepping into your energy, stepping into empowerment, stepping into what you want. Here we have you embracing the future. Oh no, sad remembrance. Spirit, why did you have me say embracing the future? Okay, because something destro was destroyed in your life. Um, something was destroyed in your life and 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 so what we have here is you embracing the future it's taken a long time and you've needed the encouragement to move forward you needed to heal and and you're doing that and here we have uh lastly coming to life this is a very positive outcome it's going to bring you back to life libra libra i hope this reading helped and i will speak to you soon